Hey y'all, uh, it is Melissa here with Sincerely Creative Mom. We're going to be working on a super easy, easy, easy project using the sign extender. So many questions I get. So many questions. How do you use the sign extender? What is the circle thing with all the squares in it? What do you do with it? How do you use it? Um, so we're definitely going to be using in the most simplest way today. This is a 10 by 10 sign. Um, we have ribbons for a bow. We're going to attach it with some pipe cleaners in this project. You do need, if you're going to do it the way I'm suggesting to you, you do need a staple gun. This one is from um, Fisker. Or it's, it's from Amazon, actually. It's a Fisker's one. Um, I can definitely um, send you the link uh, to the one I purchased, but you'll definitely want one of those. Um, or you're creative. If you're watching this, you're creative in some way. You can definitely find a different way. Just remember, the sign is about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so you don't want staples bigger than that. And you want to follow this kind of uh, the instructions here to make sure that your staples don't go through your sign. Okay, so really, really easy. The first thing we're going to do is make a bow. Um, I have three ribbons here, all two and a half inch. One is a one directional ribbon, meaning the words are going one way, so it's going to be lots of fun. I got fuzz all over it. There's going to be lots of fun um, just kind of, you know, working through that. Um, the sign extender, we're going to we're gonna staple it to the back. We're going to use some pipe cleaners and staple it to the back. I'm going to put it about right here. So my bow is going to go right here and cover the... N hopefully it doesn't cover the sign depending on how big you make your bow. So don't make it so big where it's going to cover the Christmas words, obviously. Um, and then it's just going to kind of hang off the sign. Extend the sign, right? It's going to extend the sign. So that we can add a, um, just something extra to the to the edge. So you have a nice, easy little door hanger that you can make super duper easy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is our four inch ribbon. Um, it's kind of a it's a thinner ribbon with a decent with a decent um, wire. So because it's one directional and because I want my bow to be a certain way, I'm going to start with my loop, but that loop is going to go up. It's not going to cover my sign that much, but it's going to go up, right? Okay, so I'm going to just pinch there. Now we're talking, I'm going to say about, oops, going the wrong way. We're talking about six inches or so. Six inches or so it's going to go up. So that's going to be my first pinch. And from there, I'm going to make my next, my first loop. My first loop, and that's going to be about six inches. Okay, a pinch, all four inches, pinch it all, and then pull those kind of apart so I have room back there and twist. I'm going to make my next loop. Now I'm going to make I'm going to make uh, two loops on each side for this one. So I'm going to pinch again, pinch, twist. Sorry. And loop. Now, pinch. Twist about now is when my hands are like, please stop torturing me. Another loop. So I want those loops to be fairly the same. And then pinch and then twist. Now, I'm going to put that in there before my hand just... I have carpal tunnel, y'all. It's just the way it goes. So, one tail is going to go up and one tail is going to come down. Okay, we got that so far. Easy breathing. Next, I'm going to put in those um, super cute polka dots. Again, same thing. I'm going to go about six inches and then I'm going to make two more loops, just a little bit smaller than the last. Okay, so pinch, twist, loop, pinch, twist, loop, pinch, twist, 
loop, pinch, twist, and that tail is going to come down also. I'm going to go right down inside, up inside that. Now, you might not use a bow maker. That's fine. I, again, have pretty bad carpal tunnel, so I don't have a choice. I like to make them in my hands. My hands don't like me for doing that, so it's fine. Okay, now the last layer I put here, I add one little layer, uh, one little loop to the top. So I got that six inches still, one little loop, it's probably about three inches. Um, the dot, three inches, so I'm going to pinch. And then I still want those other four loops. Twist, loop, pinch, twist, loop, pinch, twist, loop, pinch. Twist, loop, pinch, twist, okay, bring that down. That's going to go up, bring these side to side, just like that, there we go, okay, nice big bow. Now, I'll take my pipe cleaner, kind of lift that up, nice and tight, squish down so I don't lose it, lift all the way up, y'all, if you're looking for the sign extender, I'm sorry, the sign extenders or the, um, the easy bow makers that I'm using here to help make my make my bow. You can find them at coachmillsupplies.com. All right, I'm going right around the top, and I'm gonna flip it over, secure the whole bow, nice and tight. So I'm squishing that bow in the front. It's fine. I want to make sure that's nice and tight, and then crisscross a few times. I'm going to hold it in my hand. I'm going to take that. I kind of hold them just like that. I don't. It's just a habit. I hold them just like that on the bottom. I'm going to take that front, um, the smallest loop, bring it straight up, kind of wiggle it back and forth. Then I'm going to make sure I take those loops and do exactly what I was doing in the first place, spreading those out. Making sure my tails are coming down to one side. I've been doing this lately, and I kind of really like it. The one, um, the one tail coming down. I've seen other folks do it, and I like it like that. It's really cool. So just nice and fluffy. And then I'm going to take those tails that are at the top and dovetail them, even the big one, so I'm just folding it and cutting on the fold, okay, and then I'm going to come down here, These they have some extra hanging in there, it's okay. Perfect, just like that. Okay, so I like to make the bow first just to see how big it's going to end up because I always est underestimate how big my bow is going to be. And then I want to see, um, just I'm going to turn it sideways so I can see it a little bit. Um, I want to see how big it's going to be and where I'm going to attach it to the sign extender. So if I attach it down at the bottom, I know I have plenty of room to still see my words, even though it's covering it maybe a little bit, um, and to sign it like that. So I know I need to attach it down here. That means I need to attach 
this up here at the top and I might even try to just do a little bit more so I have two pipe cleaners there. So I'm going to do that. Always nice to have a clean back. Okay, and then I want this to go in just like this. Just like that. So I'm going to attach it just like that. That means I'm going to add my pipe cleaners. So again, remember I mentioned that the pipe, the sign itself, maybe I didn't in this case, in this video, um, the sign itself is a quarter of an inch. I'm sorry, the staples are a quarter of an inch. The sign is not quite a quarter of an inch. So if I don't beef it up a little bit, those staples are going to go through and it's not going to be fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a staple right down here on the bottom and a staple right above it. I'm going to put two pipe cleaners. This is how I do it. Y'all can do it however you want, but this is how I do it. Push nice and tight. So now I'm going to put one up through there and one up through here, just like that. Attach it. And then attach it. Cut off that excess and hide it underneath there. And then I'm going to take my pipe cleaner under here. Oh, no, not this one. Sorry, this one. What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to take my pipe cleaner here and attach it down here. Okay, so I'm just going to go just like that. Now I'm going to flip it over just so y'all can see. I'm going to smash that bow, but it's alright. I'm going to put that right through. Now, this is just an easy way to extend your sign. There's so many, so, so many ways you can use this sign extender, but this is just the most simplest, easiest way you can use it. Now, if you want to add florals and all of those extra things, you most certainly can. Um, to your sign extender. And just like that. So now I have a cute little door hanger that is definitely much bigger than just the sign. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, again, adorable to fit on your door. Totally covered that sign extender with all that ribbon. Looks fantastic. And then I left the um, I left the uh, rope from this actual sign, I left that on there. You could change that out if you wanted to. You could make it ribbon if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave that just like that. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, you can get the pancake, um, the pancake bundle, which comes with the 14 inch frame, the 10 inch frame, and the sign extender at thepancakeframe.com. Just literally type that in, thepancakeframe.com. It'll bring you directly to that listing. If you're looking for just the sign extender that you're interested in, 
um, you can go to coachmailsupplies.com and that and just search for extender and that will come up as well thank you very much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video um, if you purchase this as a kit or as part of a kit thank you very much for um, for um, buying the kit I can't wait to see what you made in your design thanks y'all hope you are following us and subscribing and all those things so you can see us in the future have a good one